Evening everyone. Evening, it's Saturday. How is everyone? I've got Karma and Lulu with me right now. Say hi. Hi. Hello. And yeah, we're gonna be we're just gonna hang out and chill and chat and we're gonna look at some um, shit BuzzFeed um quizzes. I didn't, so I didn't just have... BuzzFeed quizzes. Just BuzzFeed. <laughs> I just had to double check I hadn't wrote shit in the title then. No, I haven't. We're good. <laughs> Don't get scared, YouTube. It's okay. Um, Shirati in the chat. Soap only makes it difficult to get a hold when it's wet. I am always wet, Shirati. How are you? And hello, Koi Wolf in the chat as well. And I was just saying before we started, I have got possibly the largest grapes I think I've ever, ever <laughs> seen. I mean the fruits, by the way. I'm not talking about um, hemorrhoids. <laughs> um, Are you sure they're grapes and not apples or pears? <laughs> seriously. Seriously, you should see the size of these fuckers. <laughs> I'm going to eat one anyway. So, oh. That was a I've fucking... i a taste test. That was a fucking good idea. <laughs> I can't talk now. Hang on. Hello, Spoonie. Sorry. Hi, Spoonie. I know it's rude to eat with your mouth full. What? <laughs> Rude to eat with your mouth full. I thought that's how you did it. <laughs> so how are you two this? Uh, well, here in the UK, it's bank holiday weekend. I don't know what you guys do for over Easter weekend in the the US of stateside. Um, some people have Good Friday off, mm. but I didn't. So worked Friday and I'm working Monday. Ooh. Oh, but then again, you get all sorts of silly other holidays like Independence Day, Labor Day, President's Day, stuff like that. You know, it's ridiculous stuff. Don't you guys celebrate a guy's failed attempt at blowing up Parliament? Yes. Yes, we do. I don't think we celebrate failure here in this country. <laughs> 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 and hi, people in the chat. <laughs> So, yeah, um, if anyone's got anything special planned for Easter, let me know. Is anyone going on an Easter, Eastern egg hunt or a Western egg hunt? Yeah, we well, can't go Northern. northern. No, no, no. Yeah. No, we don't. We don't hunt for eggs up north. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do we down south. <laughs> now, we're setting up a little Easter egg hunt for my nephew. Uh, just in the backyard, you know, really nothing fancy. He's just a little oh, kid. That's nice. The only thing we have to watch out for is to make sure that the little Shih Tzu Charlie doesn't grab all of them first, because they're going to be full of chocolate. Ah, uh, I see. Choc yeah, well, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, chocolate's not great for dogs, is it? No. Oh, you know what's funny? Um, I got him one of those ham bones. He had never had one of these before, and you know, admittedly, they're kind of big for him. He had no idea what to do with it. Mm. He wanted it. He just didn't know what to do with it. And he started barking at it. <laughs> he eventually figured it out. But. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and Koi Wolf, just to explain, I was only joking about Independence Day being silly. You're still salty after all these years. Because we won. No, no, I just think, I just think, though, an entire day to celebrate fighting, fighting off aliens. It's ridiculous. Come on, guys. Well, get out of our country. <laughs> I'm not in your country. <laughs> get off my planet. <laughs> You're not from around here, are you, boy? <laughs> get away. Oh, you're going Easter egg hunting as well, Spoonie. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, they had one, um, I think it was last weekend. They called it a 21 plus Easter egg hunt. So uh, you can probably figure out what was in those Easter eggs. 
Hmm. I didn't go. <laughs> oh. Oh, it was too expensive. I mean, for what they were asking, I could go down to a liquor store myself and get a bunch of nips. Hmm. Cheaper. <laughs> get a bunch of nips. There's no need to be racist, Karma. Mmm, nips. <laughs> But, um, yeah, do, do you know what? I don't know whether this is a British thing, but we don't really do the Easter egg hunt thing. Or at least I... I no, I haven't. I have no memories of doing Easter egg, Easter egg hunts as a kid. So well, I remember doing them around my home. Um, hmm. But that's it. Aliens. I mean, I get... I, it, it just might have been my upbringing, because we were never brought up particularly religious. So I think Christmas was the only one we kind of really, you know, the only sort of religious holiday we really observed. Mm. Like Easter. We, we, we got Easter eggs. We didn't do like the big Easter egg hunt thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is more for the kids anyway, so, mm. you know. I think most holidays are really more for kids these days anyway, which is fine. Well, uh, yeah. Well, uh, they appreciate it more, you know? Cool, cool. And Spoonie's going to the movies. Ah. All right! What are you going to see? I don't even know what's out right now. Well, there's um, Sonic 2. I know that because um, Charlie went to see that the other day. With, um... What's it? The... the kids she looks after at work she, okay, let's see she's weird because oh, I, man. I haven't even seen the first one yet <gasps> the secrets of Dumbledore is out that new fantastic beast movie no way oh 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 <laughs> Easter is okay boring. so they've got oh. ah got that movie and the only other movie i have heard of that's currently playing in my area is the batman the batman all these other movies i had never heard of these hmm. i'm hearing mixed things oh, they've about got the... that batman film yeah yeah i've heard mostly positive things but i mean if you're not a fan of batman are you gonna go see a batman movie hmm well you can't, you can't go wrong with a Batman. Well, uh, <clears throat> Batman. Yeah, yes, Superman. you can. <laughs> Batman and Robin. <laughs> so yeah, I, I take mean, that, that back. Maybe you can go wrong with a Batman film. Yeah, but that was so bad it was good. Mm. It was so campy and cheesy. It, it was like so bad it was good. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I rewatched both both the Tim Burton ones recently, um, Batman and Batman Returns, and mm. Batman Returns was a lot stranger than I remembered it being. I mean, I knew it was dark. I knew it, it was like darker than it really should have been for a Batman film. But there's some unnecessarily grotesque shit in there. <laughs> Oh, apparently um, the movie theater near me is doing a, uh, I'm going to mispronounce that, Ghibli Fest. Ah. Yep, ah. they've got The Cat Returns, Kiki's Delivery Service, Only Yesterday, Howl's Moving Castle, and Spirited Away. The only, the only two of them I'd heard of were the last ones. The last two. Spirited Away and <laughs> Howl's a... Moving Castle. And I think the only one of them I've seen is um, Spirited Away. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and they're also playing, um, looks like a one-time event, Star Trek The Motion Picture Director's Edition. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. So it's more trekking in the stars. <laughs> Across the universe. On the Starship Enterprise, under Captain <laughs> Picard. <laughs> shoot to kill, shoot to kill, we come in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Make it so. 
Well, that was his, <laughs> wasn't it? That, um, yeah, Make It So was Picard's. Make It So, number one. I, I always laugh when I think about this because I had a boss named Riker. Yeah. We would always call him number one. <laughs> Did he have a con did he have a constant um beard and sat unnervingly in chairs? Um he was quite unnerving when he was sitting in a chair. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah. So, don't, don't. Thinking of unnecessarily gross stuff. Reddit is shutting down the gore subs. There are gore subs on Reddit. They've got everything on fucking Reddit, though, haven't they? I don't... I don't want to know. Oh, God. I've never even been on Reddit. I'd like to say That's... Reddit's good for memes, but it's really not. The, the r slash <laughs> memes subreddit is just pathetic. Also, hello, Dog Dog. Hello, yes, Dog Dog. Dog Dog. Got me coffee. Coffee? Is it from a proper coffee cup? Oh. No, it's from my um, giant Poundland mug. <laughs> All I want is a proper cup of coffee. I can't do the rest of that song. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, a sec I'll, I'll, I'll do this later. I'm, I'm, I wanted to test something. Later, because I've been getting a lot of weird um, copyright claims on this channel, claiming B-roll footage that I that I sometimes use for videos. So I'm 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 gonna play it. I'm gonna play some B-roll footage in a bit in that little square where the Mac Peak live streams images, just to see yeah. what happens. <laughs> Well, I mean, oh. can't you use up to 30 seconds and you have well, to stop? No, it's just free B-roll footage. It's just free um, background footage oh. that I got from Pexels. But um, UMG, or Universal Media Group, like, have started copyright, copyright claiming it. That. I mean, the effect bull. is... Only. The effect is, it's only getting the videos blocked in Russia and Belarus. Um, but it's still weird. Do you have viewers in Russia no. and Belarus? No. I, no, I barely have viewers in Britain. <laughs> I barely have viewers. No, um, mo actually, a lot of my... Um, my th The three main countries that watch my stuff are England, America and Canada. I mean that, that that stands to reason that they're, they're the three main places I know people from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like Twitter either. It's a terrible place. It's a scum of, it's a scum oh, of hive and dog. villainy. I nearly said. Oh dear. I've stopped using Twitter recently, and it's like just such a relief to not see most of that crap. I, it's just. Uh, and Karma's now freer than she's ever been. I haven't deleted my account yet. I very well may, because I hate it. Well, that's, that's entirely up to you. Yeah. Yeah. I just bit into another giant grape. It's definitely a grape, though, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not it's not a small apple. <laughs> Darn. It's about the size. No, not I don't like tea. Not um you know, the breakfast tea. Mm. Don't like it. I Yeah, I think it depends on the tea. I love herbal teas. Yeah, me too. But... I, I don't mind a cup of tea every now and again, but I I do much prefer coffee. Especially if you want that pick-me-up. Yeah, I would go with coffee. Mm. And to be fair, the most 
most of the Brits I know actually prefer coffee over tea. <laughs> so. Don't tell the Queen. No. She's probably drinking coffee right now. Yes. I want to try the Arabic coffee. That sounds really nice. Oh, hang on, hang on, Karma. You've read all the stories. She's not drinking coffee. She's drinking infant blood. So that's how she's lived for so long. Yeah. God damn it. She's got to get that adrenaline. Why was she keeping somehow? the secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, is that like all the white rabbit stuff? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just as well, I don't really care about the Queen's opinion. It's just as well. Just as well, because I don't think anyone does, really. <laughs> no. Again, don't tell the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that weird fact we found out um, the other week? Right, it's it's technically... It's... Um, I was going to say blasphemy, no. Uh, treason. It, apparently it's treason to speculate on the um, death of a reigning monarch. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, that's weird. That like, is weird. Yeah. Then again, there's tons of laws like that. that... The weirdest well, that... law I know of is it's illegal to handle salmon and act suspicious at the same time. <laughs> Can you suspiciously handle the salmon, though? I <laughs> know. <laughs> oh, so, well, so, I, I guess. What's he doing to that salmon? Get him. <laughs> I guess the suspicious way of handling salmon is if you can only see <laughs> if you can only see one of the arms from the wrist down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd be suspicious of somebody who was handling salmon like that. <laughs> I just want to know how do you handle salmon suspiciously? Like, do you have like one of those big jackets on and <laughs> it might call it <laughs> a giant trilby? Hey, kid, you want some salmon around? And you've got the hat on and the glasses and just yeah, the <laughs> like theme, theme song going. <laughs> them, them joke shop Groucho Marx glasses. Complete with the nose and moustache. <laughs> I don't know why I call you off. <laughs> I just know it's the law. There's so many silly laws. Like, you, you're not allowed to cross the road with a plank of wood in the metropolitan um, area of London. Hmm. Uh, next time I'm in London, I'm going to do that. I'm going to cross the street with a plank of wood. While suspiciously handling a salmon. Gonna break all, all right, the I'm, laws at once. Let's I'm, do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna look some of these <laughs> up, um, and the first search result takes me to Wales Online. So, credible threat. If you're watching, here's another example of your um, of your national website having nothing better to talk about. <laughs> 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 but um, the weird UK laws you didn't know existed, including being drunk in a pub. What? I thought that was the point of pubs, so you have a place to be drunk. <laughs> Oh, we'll, we'll probably yeah we'll get to that in fact, here it is right since 1839 it's always been against the law to be inebriated whilst on a licensed no, whilst on a licensed premises one we could all be found guilty of um yep within the metropolitan police district excluding excluding the city of london it is illegal to walk down the streets whilst carrying a plank of wood as well as poles ladders and placards oh i must have got it mixed up but yeah yeah so I'm guessing all of the um, old. <laughs> I'm guessing all of the old silent comedy films were filmed inside of the city of London. <laughs> you know, just once I would love to see a skit of cops arresting people for breaking these insane laws that you probably don't even know exist. Yeah. I would love to see that. I think that would be hilarious. I would do it myself if I had the time or the patience. <laughs> Well, it's like one of them, I forget where this comes from, but apparently there's a law that says it's illegal to use a refrigerator as a flotation device. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, this law exists because someone somewhere decided they, went, they were going to go for a little boat ride using a refrigerator. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
If you place a stamp of the Queen's head upside down when posting letters or parcels, reportedly it is deemed as treason. Problem solved. Always buy the uh, special edition stamps then. See, that's so weird. I mean, we can put stamps really in any position we want as long as they're in the, you know, the proper hmm. spot of the envelope. Yeah. But nobody fucking it's sends weird. letters these days anyway. Most of the stuff you get through your paper is either bills which have been prepaid for or... <laughs> Alright, unfortunately... I, I, don't, I don't know why this says unfortunately for the ladies. Oh, right, that's why. Unfortunately for the ladies, an obscure 19th century English law made it illegal for women to eat chocolate after getting on a bus. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> and yep, yep, the salmon thing is um the salmon thing is true. Yeah. And that was brought in in 1986. <laughs> that law's as old as us, Karma. I, I, uh, I'm still on the chocolate one. Say, oh, hey, yo, end of the long day here. You want a Snickers? Are you trying to get me arrested? <laughs> <laughs> Oi, you got a license for that dairy milk. <laughs> it better not be chocolate, I see there. No, officer, it's white chocolate. Therefore, not really chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Very says, good, then. <laughs> Shirati says, no drunk skiing in Wyoming. State law holds that no person shall move uphill on any passenger tramway or use a ski slope or trail while such person's ability to do so is, unpair is impaired by the consumption of alcohol or by the use of illicit controlled you... substance or other drug. That's not drinking and driving. Somebody else is driving. You've just been doing the drinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, silly laws. I mean, everyone knows about this one. Members of Parliament should not wear suits of armour whilst inside Parliament. Yeah, if you're going to get punched in the face, you got to take it like a man oh, yeah. or a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, just take it. <laughs> Unless you have a note from the police, you aren't supposed to walk cows through the street in daylight. That shit's got to be done at night when no one can see. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably. <laughs> I don't think that really works. I don't think you can really go up to a cop or any police officer, really, and say, I see you're walking your cow. Well, close your eyes. You won't see it anymore. <laughs> Let's see. Is that parliament rule about the armor also so they can't throw gauntlets? I don't know. Therefore, it's impossible to really challenge each other to a duel or whatever. <laughs> Slaying a Bigfoot is a felony is a felony punishable by five years in prison in Washington. And the law was later amended, designating Bigfoot as an endangered species. Well, I've never seen one, have you? That's true, yeah. He, he did steal my hoodie, though. Bigfoot stole your hoodie. He did. Bigfoot Sto stole my hoodie. Story time. So I was out in the woods. I had a hoodie. And then I didn't. Bigfoot stole it. <laughs> right, okay. I was expecting some form of logic or reasoning behind your assumption that Bigfoot stole it? <laughs> well, when I tried to take a picture of the perpetrator, it was blurry. So it could only have been Bigfoot. <laughs> what colour was this hoodie? Uh, was it doesn't red? matter. If you, see, <laughs> if you see a hoodie out in the wilderness, it's mine. And I want it back. If you see Bigfoot in a hoodie. <laughs> huh? Oh, look. Thanks, Big John. Thank you. Yes, give a like if, if indeed you do. If you don't, 
Throw a dislike. It's interaction either way. I'm telling you, I got a picture, although it was probably the person I was hiking with, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Do you have any stories of um, probably fictional um, creatures? Stealing items of clothing, then um, type them in the chat. I just deal with um, toilet ghosts. Toy yes, yes, toilet ghosts. Yep. Sarah's plagued by toilet ghosts, everyone. I am. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Do you want to tell that story? Do you want to tell us um, exactly what a toilet ghost is for a start? It's a ghost that resides in a toilet and it lifts up the toilet bin and slams it down constantly. It's scary. And then it follows you home and then it whispers Steve at you. It whispers Steve. That's the that's the strangest detail of it though. <laughs> that really is the strangest detail. <laughs> Why? I don't know, ask the toilet ghost. I think I found a picture of it as well. I'm gonna bring it up on stream. Is this it? Give it a sec for the uh, stream to catch up. Just imagine that whispering Steve at you in the middle of the night. Mm. Where is it? Oh, yes. Yes, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> I've sent you two pictures of Bigfoot. I even circled it in the last one in your DMs. Wait, hang. All right, then. Let me, I'll, I'll bring this up. Bigfoot fleeing with my hoodie. You know it's real. What's that? <laughs> Okay, it's not showing Discord for some reason. Right, okay, hang on, give me a sec. Ah, right, this will do it. There we go. Let's have a look. And Well, um, I'm trying to look at that. I'm trying to see where your hoodie is. I can't work it out. <laughs> what mythological <laughs> creatures are there from the UK? Um... We've got the, um, oh, we've got the dreaded and fearsome opinionated Scotsman. <laughs> Nary to be seen. Sharati, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my youngest daughter named the oldest tree in my yard, Steve. Oh. I get, do you know what? I quite like the idea of giving um, strange things or things that wouldn't normally have, you know, like a, a name as we know it. I like the idea of giving them Names. Like, really ordinary names, like pets. Having a cat called Gerald. <laughs> or a dog named Paul. I don't know. <laughs> I quite like that. I do like the idea of giving um, unusual things normal names. Can you send a higher quality picture? I don't. I don't think. So. But I'm, I'm. I'm looking at that picture again. I'll bring it back up. I'm looking at that picture again. I mean that that might be like I said the person I was hiking with, but <laughs> it's blurry. Let me guess. Therefore, they... it must be Bigfoot. When you it's took this camouflage. picture, when you took this picture, were they slightly further up the road than you? <laughs> I was running after the son of a bee. <laughs> And then I tripped and I took the picture and then, yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. Bigfoot confirmed by Karma. <laughs> See? <laughs> Mythical creature. I mean, yeah, like it's blurry, but it's quality. not grainy. Well, yeah. It's not grainy, so... Not sure. No. 
It needs to be grainy and blurry for it to be Bigfoot. Definitely an X-File. Thank you. <laughs> it might be an alien. It could be. I mean... There are a lot of woods out there. Right, okay. What I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to employ some of my... Um, image... Skills. <laughs> my um, image analysis <laughs> skills. Um, we're going to have a look and I'm going to see if I can clear that picture up and we can see exactly what's going on in that picture. So just um, give me a second. We'll just uh. carry on chatting shit while I do this. Right. But um, <laughs> what other mythical creatures are there, though? I... What well, in the UK? Loch Ness. Just in Monster general. Monster of Loch Ness. Well, yeah, there's. Well, we we looked at the Loch Ness monster a few weeks ago, didn't we? Uh, there's also the Chupacabra. Ah, oh, yeah. There's the New Jersey Hi. Devil. What do we have in England? So apparently we have panthers running around everywhere. Do you have any mythical creatures from the top of my head that I can think of? None. Hang on. I think, yeah, I think I've managed to um, enhance this picture a bit. Yeah, that's looking. Yeah, that's looking a lot clearer now. <clears throat> Give me a second. Trucker, no, Mothman is bullshit. All right. Give me a second. I'll bring this up on screen for you. There you go. I've managed to enhance it a bit. The Mothman. I know, right? Cthul <laughs> Cthulhu and Gojira. Hmm. Fairies? Just give it a second. <laughs> hey, that looks so much better. All right, well, I've got a shoot, but nice talking right. to you. No worries, you have fun. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. I'll, I'll zoom in for those who can't quite make it out yet. There you go. There it is. There's proof of Bigfoot right there. That is like professional quality. I know, right? <laughs> you know, the good thing though is, right, Mothman, right, he never gets holes in his clothes. Because of his mothballs. <laughs> Never gets holes in his underwear. <laughs> Ruin that joke. Bugger. <laughs> Should have been underwear first. Should have said underwear straight away. <laughs> Whatever you took a picture is definitely... I know, right? That was the last time Karma went on a date. She insisted it had to be in the woods. It was a rough time. They started panicking when she got out the big book with the pentagram on it and took out um, a shaker of salt. Okay, so I just looked up the Jersey Devil, or the New Jersey Devil... And another recommended search for it was Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Freddy Krueger? Uh-huh. Well, Freddy Krueger's the Jersey Devil, do you think? No. Oh. No. Mm. Let's see. Some reported sightings. 
Wait, of what? The of what? The Jersey Devil or Freddy Krueger? It's important to um, know I'm before looking you at, go any further. <laughs> I'm looking at the Jersey Devil right now. Joseph Bonaparte? What? Claimed to have seen it while he was hunting in his estate in 1820. Uh... In 1840, it was blamed for several livestock killings. Hush, little Sasquatch, don't you cry. <laughs> it will only hurt until you die. <laughs> Very good, Shirati. <laughs> July 27th, 1937, an unknown animal with red eyes seen by residents of Downingtown, Pennsylvania, was compared to the Jersey Devil by a reporter for the Pennsylvania Bulletin. Uh, but, uh, the boys claimed to have seen... Oh, in 1951, boys claimed to have seen a monster matching the Devil's description and claims a corpse matching the Jersey Devil's description arose in 1957. Uh... Ooh. Oh my god, during the same year, the merchants around Camden offered a $10,000 reward for the capture of the Jersey Devil, even offering to build a private zoo to house the creature if it was captured. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. I know. All right, this is a rabbit hole. I'm not going to go down it. I'm uh -huh. going to close this. <laughs> I'm just looking through this now because there's, um, I know there's some sort of black cat that apparently lives like down south or something like that. Black cats are wonderful creatures. No, like I a have giant. I have snoring on my bed now. <laughs> No, yeah, like a giant mythical cat or something. Oh, I'll... Hmm, let's see. Britain's mythical beasts and where to find them. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ooh. Obviously, the, yeah, Kelpies. Selkie. Which apparently shapeshifters. Oh my god. They must have got Quentin Blake to illustrate this or something. <laughs> oh, I see. It's trying to sell me a giant map. No thanks. I'm not buying a giant map. Whatever happens. How are you going it's... to find to these creatures? <laughs> English legendary creatures. That was Beast of Exmoor, was it? Yeah, Phantom Cat, Beast of Exmoor. British folklore, the Beast of Exmoor, also known as the Exmoor Beast, is a phantom cat said to roam the fields of Exmoor in Devon and Somerset in, uh, and Somerset in the United Kingdom. Beast of Bodmin as well. That I think that's the one I was thinking of. Okay. Alleged panther or leopard-like black cat. Yeah. Yeah, but that happens in nature all the time, though. You know, you can have albino cats, and you can have uh, what is it? Oh, um, what is the one where you're all black cat? Uh, melanism. Yeah, that's it. Right, right, right. So all their fur is like a different colour. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a rare thing to see in nature because typically, you know, out in the wild, those animals that don't blend in as well are usually the ones that are first taken out. Well, yeah. So. That's, that's the animal kingdom for you, isn't it? 
No. Well, yeah. If you stand out, well, <laughs> you're probably going to be taken out first. You hear that? That's why gingers are dying out, guys. Avoid mushroom circles. The fairies will steal you or your kids away. Or throw kids into them if you need a break. <laughs> yeah? <sighs> the same goes for... Uh... Same um, same goes for BBC production meetings in the 70s. If you need a break, <laughs> off you go, have a good time. Sorry, I still have this article up. Um, Apparently, it's illegal to shake your rug or mat out of the window before 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Cheryl, hey, I am part ginger. Going green. <laughs> That's fine. Oh. Let's see. Not to brag, but I know your zodiac sign based on your mac and cheese order. <laughs> ah, oh, uh. Hmm. Uh, uh, right. I want to see if this is correct. I'm going to see. Well, go on, send, um, send us that. Send us that one. We'll have a look at it. It is in the title. So, Do you want me to put it in the chat so everybody else can take it if they want to? Yeah, sure. All right. Neon white skin and freckles. Oh, dear. All right, here we go. I'll bring this up on screen. the wood. Hang on. It says I'm a water sign. <clears throat> Fail. Here we go. Not to brag, but I know your zodiac sign based on your mac and cheese order. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Choose a pasta shape. Um I quite like farfalle. Pick a cheese. cheddar and pick a second cheese oh good is quite nice if you could add more cheese would you yes maybe two or more choose a mix in <laughs> I, I, like, I like cheese can you tell welcome back sarah Uh, fuck it, breadcrumbs, why not? And do you want to bake your mac and cheese? Sure, why not? If you're going to put breadcrumbs on there, you might as well. I'm a water sign, apparently. Very sensitive and em em <laughs> empathic person. You feel things much more intensely and deep, deeper than most. Am I a water sign? I'm a Sagittarius. I don't know, are you? I'm a Sagittarius. Is that a water sign? I think so. Let me check that because I'm not entirely sure. Because I. <laughs> this is how little stock I hold in this kind of thing, but I just managed to misspell Sagittarius. Um. Apparently it's a mutable sign, whatever that means. Oh no, it's a fire sign. Yeah. Buzzfeed, you lied again! Man, Buzzfeed always gets it wrong. It says I'm a water sign too. No, it's an air sign. I'm an air I'm sign. I'm doing mine now. 
Hmm. Buzzfeed, you lied! Oh, I've got another one if you guys yeah. would like to do that. Yeah, okay. You can see which of the 50 states you belong in based on the foods you've tried. Based on the foods you've tried? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's see which of the 50 states you belong in based on the food you've tried. Okay. I'm I apparently a water sign too, but I ain't a water sign. I'm a Libra. Hmm. I've had most of these foods. So, <laughs> already there, guys, there's an indication of how seriously we're supposed to take these quizzes. But, um, have you had blueberries? Yes. Have you had whoopee pie? What's whoopee pie? It's like a um, chocolate cake cookie thing with cream in the middle. Yeah, that looks like what I'm looking at here, but it, it just... Uh... No, I don't think I have had that. Have I had apple pie? Who hasn't? <coughs> <laughs> have I had Boston cream pie? Karma? Well, I don't that? know, have you? No, what is it? I'm looking at it here, it <laughs> looks like some sort of sponge with cream filling and chocolate on top. There you go. I'm guessing that's what it is. Alright, peach pipe. No, I haven't actually. Have I had barbecue? Yeah. Chimichanga. No, but I enjoy saying it. Uh, sweet potatoes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I don't like them. I've had them, but I don't like them. Hmm. If I had orange juice... Huh? Got, yes. Golden delicious apples as well. Yes. Popcorn. Banana split. Yeah. Never had Kringle. Whatever that is. Boiled dinner. That sounds nice and, nice and specific. <coughs> Whoopie pie as a wagon. Oh, I should have clicked. Yes, then. Can... It. I think you can change your answers. Alright, hang on. Yes, I'll change it. Right, boiled dinner. Right. Mm. I'm looking at this plate here. It looks, like it's, meat? it looks like it's got a bit of lung in there. Ew. <laughs> Some um, ginger penises. <laughs> the corner off somebody's sandwich. <laughs> and some roast potatoes. <laughs> huh? uh, no, I don't think I've had that. <laughs> um, no, I've never had a lobster roll. I've never had lobster. I'm not a big seafood person. I don't um, tend to eat a lot of guys, seafood. Do you guys get a lot of lobster where you are anyway? No, no. Yeah, there you go. Apple muffins. Uh, no, I can't say I have. Oysters? No. As if I need an aphrodisiac. Hey, ladies. <laughs> they had grits. What the fuck is grits, guys? All right, Americans, what's grits? It, hey? Grits is like porridge, except instead of oats, it's corn. No, never had that then. Any more thought given it's to the 72 bad. hour strip? Well, that kind of thing, Big Dro, is something that could happen in the future. That's all. It's a damn pot roast that's been... Oh, is it? I've never had boiled pot roast then, Shirati, no. They have sea spiders in England. Uh, po uh, polenta. Sorry, the chat's on my um, second screen, which sometimes makes... You know, Duck Dog, I'm not a fan of weird. polenta. Not a fan of polenta. Mm. Pecans. Nah, I'm not, not a big nuts person either. Ironically, given my surname. <laughs> Buckeyes. I'm guessing they're just like little... Um... Oh. I'm trying to think. What are... Oh. Do you know what? 
Based off the picture, I think I know what they are. And yes, I've had them. And Trucker has it. Yeah, it's boiled cornmeal. Right, I see. Um, fried catfish. This quiz is turning Bad out to be feeders. more educational than I thought. No, I've never had fried catfish. <laughs> I've always known what gender the fish I've eaten was before I ate it. <laughs> Have I ever had fried pickles? I don't like pickles. I don't like if, if, if I'm having you know like a burger from McDonald's. I won't like pick the pickle off, but. Typically, I won't. No, 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 I don't like pickles. Unless it's pickled onion. I like pickled silver skin onions. I can eat jars of them in one go. But no, I've never had fried pickles. Have I had coffee milk? <laughs> this is gonna take. This is gonna take us back to that rant I had earlier, isn't it? About you know what the hell is boomer food? <laughs> What the hell do they mean by that? We found a quiz earlier on um, on BuzzFeed um, that used the term boomer food, and I lost my shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. In fact, it was that quiz that led to me coming up with this idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've just done the quiz, and apparently I'm Michigan-based, which is weird because that's where some of my family live in Michigan. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm uh, West Virginia-based. I Which, uh, I've not even finished this yet. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Never had coffee milk, no. And a coney dog. That's just a hot dog with chilli on top, isn't it? I'm going to say yes. Well, I've never had a coney dog myself, I, I don't think. I might have once, but I don't recall. See, that's the thing, Koi Wolf. Boomer food isn't a thing. This is... Buzzfeed for crying yeah. out loud. Uh, sugar cream pie. No jokes, and no, I haven't had it. Hot brown. Combine the two. Hot yeah. pound sugar cream pie. No, um, no, never had yeah, that uh, either. Yeah, the thing with coffee milk, Pete, is if you've ever had chocolate milk using syrup, it's a coffee flavored syrup. I should probably send you guys some when Ooh. I have the. Yeah. To me, it just looks like a latte. That's coffee and milk. Ah. Oh, it's less coffee y and it's way sweeter. <laughs> if I, yes, I have had Mississippi mud pie. All right, mm. now they're getting desperate. Have you ever had an ice cream cone? <laughs> A no, what now? never. A cone Cynthia made of ice cream. Cynthia grapes. Uh, yeah, I think I have actually. And. Smith Island cake. Actually, yes, I have. And it was bloody nice and a blueberry muffin. Yeah. I used to work in Subway. I had the I had the Smith Island cake in Morrison's at the little cafe there. Yeah. Nice. Never had breaded pork tenderloin sandwich. Look at that. <laughs> look at the um look at the top of that bun on top of that. That's just hopeful. <laughs> I'm, I'm a sandwich <laughs> uh, Duck Dog to answer your question Aristocrat The factory was right down the street where I went to school All right. and every morning it smelled like burning coffee beans What's Bierox? <laughs> What's Bierox? I have no idea No, I've had smoked salmon as well. I'm not a big salmon person and i've had kool-aid who hasn't who hasn't drank the kool-aid guys i haven't never had kool-aid yeah, anything <laughs> no it's just basically but right remember the other night when we were trying to explain to karma and blind girl what cordial was yeah basically kool-aid is their version of it it's just it's not syrupy it's um it's not syrup it's powdery powdered powder <laughs> Yeah, but cordial's not really syrup either. It's more liquidy than syrup. It's just... Oh. Depends, it depends on the brand you buy. I mean, Vimto can be quite thick. R yeah, Ribena. Robinson's is yeah. quite thick. Ribena yeah. as well is extremely thick. Uh, yeah. Fried okra? Nope. 
Yes, I love chilli. Who doesn't like chilli? Fry bread? No, I can't say how. How long is this fucking quiz? You, the, it's not that long. Choke berries? Oh, I did it. No. Have I ever had bison? No. Never had Rocky Mountain oysters? No. French dip? That just looks like pulled pork. You're going to tell me now, it is just pulled pork, aren't you? And that... I'm not going to say anything. It is. It is just pulled pork in I'm it. Not That's what it looks anything. like. It fucking looks like pulled pork to me. So yes, I have had pulled pork. And toch tochos. No. Never had them. Never had poi. Carne avocado. Uh, Adovada. Adovada? That just looks like That looks more like chili than the chili they showed earlier. But yeah, I've had that then. Pastrami book, no. Finger steaks, no. Chateau Briad. That's just roast beef. That, that looks just like roast beef to me. And I don't know, Coyle, how do you handle salmon suspiciously? No mention of crab cake. Yeah, that's a good point, Trucker. Uh, oh, well, uh, thank you for indicating. Finally! Have you had huckleberries? No. <laughs> I mean, there's no way of verifying this because I'm not from the United States, but apparently I'm from Tennessee. Based on the foods you've tried, you're best suited to live in Tennessee. If you don't yeah. already live there, you should maybe move there. I'm not moving to America just because a fucking BuzzFeed quiz told me to. <laughs> The hell you won't. If you do anything because a BuzzFeed quiz tells you to, then there's something seriously wrong with you. <laughs> a French dip is roast beef and au jus. Au jus. You uncultured Au jus. Slime. Au jus. Au jus. <laughs> au jus. Alright, well, if you want to move on to the next quiz... Go on, let's have Design a Design a mansion... All right, design a mansion with an unlimited budget, and we'll reveal which original Avenger you truly embody. What? <laughs> How do those two things go together? And dad, 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 dad. <laughs> this Buzz is BuzzFeed. <laughs> Let's go and have a have a go. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Big Joe! Are you from Memphis? Because you're the only ten I see. Big Dro, are you flirting with me again? Alright, here we go. Mm. Design a mansion with an unlimited budget and we'll reveal which original avatar... Uh, uh, Avenger... Oh, fucking hell. Avenger. Original avatar. <laughs> Alright, pick the exterior. Do you know what? I want anything too ostentatious. Uh... Actually, fuck it. That looks the most English. Um, <laughs> entry hall. Oh, it'd be modern. It'd, it'd be modern. It wouldn't be fucking Kubrick over here. <laughs> Looking like it belongs in a... Belongs in a fucking standard Kubrick sci-fi. Um... See. I don't like the idea of having um, what's it corporate looking fire exit signs in my house I mean what am I next going to have assembly points in my back garden I got, oh my god, I got Captain America. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for that. What does my living room look like? Would I park my car in my living room is the question. <laughs> you want a mansion for books? Ah, that's, that's, that's called a big library. Sharati. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. I like that. Yes. 
Oh no, that's cozier. Uh, we'll go with that. Now, pick the kitchen. All these kitchens look quite small for a mansion. Um, yeah. Uh, choose a bathroom. Where would I prefer to shit? Let's see. I don't... Oh, I don't like that wood effect. I can't imagine having... Having a wood effect bathroom. I'm Captain America. I can't imagine Welcome having... Welcome to a, the club. Yeah, I can't imagine having <laughs> a wood effect bathroom. Because you'd be, you'd be frightened of touching anything. No, 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 no. Your bathroom's... Everything's supposed to be clean. And wipe clean in the bathroom. In case of accidents. Um, because if you have an accident in a wood effect bathroom, you're never getting that shit out of the cracks. <laughs> Literally. Uh, yeah, that one's all right. I like that. Office space. Yeah, we'll go for that. Yeah, master bedroom. That one's got a fucking octopus on the bed. No thanks. You got Wonder Woman, did you, Big Dro? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Huh? Yeah, all right. I quite like that one. I'm a very simple person, guys. What does the guest bedroom look like? Uh... Yeah, we'll go with that. Choose a balcony. Okay, we'll go for that. Choose a relaxing feature to add. Hot tub, massage tables, yoga studio, sauna, reading loft, plant room. Ah, plants are stupid upkeep um i'd probably go hot tub who wouldn't want a hot tub here guys <laughs> big joe i got pole pot <laughs> <laughs> did you do the wrong uh, quiz did you <laughs> did you do we can guess we can guess which dictator you are based off your um, coffee preference <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have choose... you done know what vegetable am I yet? <laughs> oh, of course. Right, come on. I'd have an arcade. Uh, which pool? Oh, oh, that pool looks fucking frightening. There's no edge. There's no edge to that pool. I imagine that's what flat earthers think the edge of the world looks like. <coughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll go for that nice, quiet indoor pool. Um, a fun outdoor feature. This is me we're talking about. I don't go outdoors. Pizza oven, obviously. <laughs> and another outdoor feature. Oh, seriously? It's hard being rich, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'd have a tree house because it's another indoors, outdoors. Um, <laughs> big drop, I'm a round earther. <laughs> um, which vehicle do I own? Fuck it. A spaceship, why not? Finally, pick a furry pet to add. A cat! It would be a cat. Right, I'm the Hulk. You are most like the Hulk. You're <laughs> strong, independent and emotional. You're a true warrior and you have a great heart. Hmm. Um, weirdly, you picking the pizza oven kind of leads into another quiz right here. Wait a sec, something's just you... clicked. Something's just clicked in my head. Big Joe, how the fuck did you get Wonder Woman? <laughs> how did I get Captain America? Don't say because I'm American. Well, no, 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 yeah, no. No, Carmen, <laughs> no, it's understandable that you'd get Captain America because, and I'm... 
just to explain this to everyone, Captain America's one of the Avengers. Yeah. Wonder Woman isn't. Oh, she's DC, isn't she? Yeah. Oh my god, wait a minute. How did that happen? <laughs> hey, you're right. I... Yeah. And Pol Pot. Wasn't he the winner of Britain's Got Talent one year? <laughs> this is BuzzFeed. <laughs> I'm going to put um, another link in the chat if you want to keep playing. Yeah. <laughs> um, tell me if you'd eat these things on a pizza or not. And I'll tell you if you're a monster or not. Picture of confused pop up with Wonder Woman. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure you did, Joe. Sure you did. All right. Tell me if you'd eat these things on a pizza or not, and I'll tell you if you're a monster or not. Okay. Here we go. All I'm right. not gonna make comments. I'm just gonna wait for you to. All right, Crystal Rowe. See these. Let's be judged, <laughs> shall we? Some of these options. Um... Huh. <laughs> Would you eat pepperoni on pizza? Yeah. Broccoli. No, but it's not the worst of pizza crimes. Egg, I, I don't like eggplant. Jalapeno. Yeah. But not too many. No. No shrimp. God, no. No. Pesto. Nah. No. Pesto with spaghetti. Yes. Oh, no, God, no. Pesto, depending on the cheese. Really. And no, no fruit. No fruit. No peewee. No peewee? <laughs> peewee. No banana, either. Calamari. No, again, not a big fish person. French fries. I'd probably give it a go. I'd eat pizza right. with a side of fries, but maybe not on them. But, yeah. Fried chicken. No, the bones. No, that'd be... No, that'd be silly. Curry. Why not? Yeah. Hard-boiled eggs. No. No, that'd be... That's down. No. Peanut butter and jelly. No, because I can't stand peanut butter. And it's not jelly, it's jam. And <laughs> once again, no. No, fr no fruit on pizza. Yeah, I'm also not a monster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, most of the stuff I said no to because it's meat or meat-based, you know, I can't... <laughs> well, yeah, Won't true. eat that stuff. No, I wouldn't have salmon on a pizza. Wouldn't have caviar. What kind of person do you take me for? I'd be a class traitor if I'm found eating caviar. Uh, no, I wouldn't have strawberries. Again, stop it with putting fruit on... Will people stop putting fruit on pizzas, please? Stop it. Right. The marshmallows that got me. Yeah, no. Yeah. No. I think you mean chips, not fries. Well, actually, no. I, I do classify... I do classify the thin chips that you get from, like, McDonald's or KFC as fries. Chips, to me, are, like, the big, chunky ones. Yeah, like yeah. the ones you get from the fish and chippy. Yeah. Also known as steak fries. Or hot, chips. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Sliced up. Like sliced hot dogs. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Nope. Would not eat pineapple on pizza. I am not a monster when it comes to pizza. Well, that was a fucking letdown of an answer. You, I knew I wasn't a monster. You're a monster for putting fucking marshmallows on pizza. Who does that? I think they do for some dessert pizzas. It's like the banana one. I think they have a, a dessert pizza with a peanut butter and chocolate base. And you put sliced bananas on it. Pizza is not a dessert. Well, apparently people disagree. <laughs> well, people are wrong. There's a 40 question one. Um says these 40 questions will reveal which Disney villain and princess you're a perfect combination of. And I am assured this is the most accurate personality test you'll ever take. 
Oh yeah, fuck Myers Briggs. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Feel free to play along. Let's have a look. Yeah, fuck the Myers Briggs tests and stuff like that. You know, this is the most accurate personality quiz you'll ever do. These 40. Right, yeah, yeah, we read that. Below are 40 statements. All you have to say is how much you agree or disagree with them. And we'll reveal which Disney princess and villain perfectly match your personality. Enjoy. Okay, you'd rather watch. Uh, you'd rather read a book than watch a movie. Somewhat agree. You're a stickler for the rules. Somewhat disagree. I mean, rules are there for a reason, generally, but... Doesn't mean they can't be bent. Right. Your room is typically messy. Strongly agree. At this point in time, you feel lonely. Neutral. <laughs> <laughs> you identify as an introvert. I'm live on the internet. Somewhat disagree. You have high standards. I have you guys for friends. Somewhat disagree. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. You love drama. Neutral. It's fun. It's fun to watch. <laughs> People can easily upset you. How fucking dare you? <laughs> Not even a person. It's just words. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel Buzzfeed. Um. No. No. People can't easily upset. I, yeah. Somewhat disagree. I scare easily. Jump scares. Sudden scares, yes, but... Uh, neutral, then. You often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it has taken place. So, so that's the wit in the staircase. Uh, wit of the staircase, isn't it? Um, yeah, it does happen quite a lot. I think it happens to people in general quite a lot. Hence why there's a term for it. <laughs> yes, yes, Mouse Grace. Well, that, that's a matter of perspective, really, isn't it? <laughs> Right, you're a hopeless romantic. Now I'm just hopeless. Um, I was going to make a snarky comment, but I will refrain now. Thank you. Um, I am Mulan and Ursula. Oh my god, I got the same. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm very detail oriented. I think we're the same person. I'm very detail oriented. Uh, yeah. You almost all strongly dis you almost always text back immediately. Strongly disagree. Shirati got Tiana and Cruella de Vil. Ah. If you're going somewhere, you like to plan everything out. Disagree somewhat. Depends on where you're going. Well yeah. Being organized is important to you. Eh, somewhat disagree. You hate group projects. Nah. You make your bed every morning. Strongly disagree. I'll just look back. <laughs> no. No, I don't. You like dirty jokes, yes. Who doesn't? It bothers you when things don't go as planned. Somewhat agree, because it's annoying, but... I don't see it as being the end of the world. You panic easily. Yeah, I kind of do. 
You love talking about yourself. Nah. Picture I've got Sleeping Beauty and Justin Trudeau. <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's good you prefer rom-coms over action movies I strongly disagree you think your life is pretty boring I know my life is pretty boring you love large gatherings neutral on it you prefer listening to facts rather than feelings strongly agree You always think people are judging you. Eh, yeah, somewhat agree. I just choose not to care what they think. Still you always do it. You always judge other people. Nah. You make friends very easily. Eh, I somewhat agree. I can be a bit aggravating sometimes. You believe in love at first sight. Neutral on it. You're not scared to tell someone that you disagree with them. I strongly agree. Your goals in life are clear. I strongly disagree. You're confident <laughs> in almost everything you do. Hello, Malice. <laughs> You're confident in almost everything. Ah, oh, slightly disagree, actually. Right. You're very artistic. Check the spelling on that. Um, disagree slightly. <laughs> oh, malice. You're a very independent person. Yeah, can be. You believe in ghosts. Strongly disagree. You prefer quality over quantity. Somewhat agree. You're almost never late for things. Somewhat disagree. I am sometimes late. Everyone's sometimes late for things. What the hell is this anyway? Karma has sent us which Disney princess and villain are you? Apparently these 40 questions are the most accurate personality test ever. You cry at least once a week. Nah, I strongly disagree. It's twice a week. No, um... <laughs> no, uh... Air day. <laughs> Air day. How do you think I get to sleep at night? No, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. knowing that you would get caught, uh, you wouldn't. Knowing that you wouldn't get caught, you'd rob a bank. Uh, nah. <laughs> and if you rob that bank, you'd donate most of the money to charity. Well, I just said I wouldn't rob the bank, but ha, <laughs> fair enough, malice. There we go. All right. I'm Rapunzel and Yimza? Uh, Yzma. I think Yzma. that's how you pronounce it. Right. Yeah, the Emperor's New Groove. You're an equal combination of Rapunzel from Tangled and Yzma from The Emperor's New Groove. You're spirited, determined, and the true dreamer. You want something greater for yourself in life, and you know you'll achieve it. You're also pretty self-motivated, which means you'll work hard to push yourself out of your comfort zone if necessary. You approach things with emotions rather than fa- Fuck that! And, like a true ambivert, you meet- uh, You like meeting new people, but definitely appreciate your alone time. Mm. Yes, yes. Thanks, thanks Malice, that really helps. Telling me how to pronounce a word- written on my screen by writing it on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> Your courage and creativeness are admired by all. That just looks freakish, though. <laughs> that combination of them both. No. No, I'm not having that. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can find any more. We know about Pete's alone time. <laughs> really? Yzma. Thank you, Sharati. Thank you, Mass Creation.
Better. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. That one worked. That's how you tell people how... <laughs> That's how you tell people <laughs> how to pronounce things. You never just write the word out again. <laughs> Sleezma, Weezer, Old Geezer. Are you just um, writing down all the things on your passport now, Malice? <laughs> um, um, there's one type of rock that matches your personality. Here's <laughs> yours. <laughs> type of rock? Oh, dear. Type of rock. Go on, then. What type of rock are you? <laughs> oh. What kind of Why are you taking this quiz? <laughs> I'm bored. I want to know what rock I am, duh. What colour speaks to you most? Green. I got a pebble. <laughs> you got a pebble. <laughs> Yeah, but Big Dro, is that how he describes himself, or is that what he's looking for? Uh, <laughs> what time do you usually wake up? Before 8 a.m., 9 to... It's usually about 9 to 11. When things are going good at the type of rock I am is Dwayne Johnson. Nice, Big Dro. Right. What is your go-to <laughs> breakfast? Coffee. Where would you like to I'm travel to? Hawaii? <laughs> Really? A boulder? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hawaii, New Zealand. I do not want to leave my home or France. <laughs> don't want to go to Hawaii. Can't be asking to New Zealand. No way am I going to France. So, I do not want to leave my home. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? It's a mixture of both. What, which rock speaks to you the most? Oh, let me guess. This is going to be the one that decides, isn't it? Yeah, what rock speaks to you the most? Boulder. If, if any rock speaks to you, by the way, then you've clearly been hit in the head with said rock. I mean, you're supposed to tell me that. I'm a pebble! You keep to yourself quite often and maybe a bit shy at first. You tend to open up as friendship begins in new conversation. You may enjoy things like art, math, <laughs> and skipping, whether it be leg movement or pebbles themselves. I don't know if that's a rock, Malice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Great more wanker of a... rocks. They. <laughs> <laughs> They're usually found um, in wherever Malice is from. <laughs> well, I do have a question for everybody. What salty snack are you? Oh. Find out. Oh, what salty snack? Go on, plunk it in the chat. Let's do this. Let's fill some time in this ridiculous idea, which is just predicated by me getting angry at the term boomer foods. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Maybe I can find that link. Hold on. If you want to do that one again. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll do the salty snack one first. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, to be fair, it wasn't exactly the quiz. It's just the term boomer food. I mean, what constitutes a boomer food? Don't know. And Duck Dog, what does that Flintstone rock say? Mixed nuts. All right. Where is your dream vacation? New York, Greece, Colorado, New Zealand, Australia, Hawaii. Why? Why? Fuck it, New York. 
I am potato chips. <laughs> crisp as we are here in England. Olives! Yabba dabba doo! Indeed. Right. Favourite colour? Green, actually, yeah. Just without looking at. You got a pickle! <laughs> oh dear, Mouse. If you could I'm be a pack any of animal, walkers. what would you be? I would. Right. Llama, giraffe, penguin, lion, lemur, or dog? Probably be a lemur. Favourite kind of date? Dinner and movies, bowling, sunset walk on the beach, brunch, bar, coffee. Bar. Because that way it's not a wasted night if it goes south. Yeah, you can still get yourself shit faced and maybe cop off with someone. <laughs> Favourite drink? Coffee, beer, kombucha. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um. Apple juice, milk, tea. <laughs> oh, malice. I drink a hell of a lot more coffee than I do any of the others. And finally, what's your favourite food? Of these... Cheeseburgers. Oh, fuck off. Um, I'm a pickle too, <laughs> apparently. The personality is one that tart, one that's tart and comes in many varieties. Anything from sweet, spicy, sour, even fruit punch flavored. You're a staple a in the lives. Fruity pickle. Um, yeah, apparently I'm a fruity pickle. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna link the thing that made Pete confused and angry at the same time. So uh, <laughs> here you go. Boomer food. Food for boomers? Food from boomers? I I don't know. <laughs> but I don't see how any of the... <laughs> That's a penis. Hello, cryptic. <laughs> I don't see how any of these classify as anything you could describe as boomer food. <laughs> Incidentally, that's a penis is cryptic's calling card. <laughs> Hi, Cryptic. Hello. Right, hang on. Sorry, it's got something in the eye. Ah! The boomer food. I've got boomer food in my eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so deviled eggs. How many do I enjoy? Right, I enjoy black licorice. Or any kind of licorice, really. I'm not prejudiced. Chicken pot. I do like chicken pot pie, actually. But how are any of these boomer food? How is cottage cheese boomer food? How is deviled eggs boomer food? Baked apples. No, nah, never. Nah. Jello. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't like jello? There's always room for jello. Vanilla bean ice cream. Is that different to vanilla ice cream? Is vanilla bean ice cream different to vanilla ice cream? Okay. Yes and no. Vanilla is, you know, just the flavor of vanilla, but vanilla bean contains the actual vanilla bean in it. Right. You know, it's got that little, the little black spots, the little seeds. Right, 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 right. I see. What the crap is deviled eggs? That's deviled what eggs. What do you mean what the crap is deviled eggs? They're delicious. It looks, right, it looks just like hard boiled eggs. With um, yeah, well, it's red hard boiled eggs. You... All right, all right. It's not red shit. It's paprika. With it's paprika, like... then. Red you shit. boil eggs. You cut them in half. You remove the yolk. You mash them up with like mayonnaise, mustard, really any toppings like relish, and then you put them back into the egg and sprinkle them with paprika. I've made them, but I don't eat them. Ugh. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, I quite like vanilla bean ice cream. Rum raisin ice cream. Yeah, fuck it. Bread pudding. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't like bread pudding? Prunes. No. No. Ha oh, hard candies. I missed that one earlier. 
Maybe my answers will actually make sense this time. Now I'm seeing ones I didn't see earlier. Whole milk. Yeah. Meatloaf. Cream of wheat. Nah, God, no. Cream soda. Nah. Not a big fan of fruit cocktail either. Or applesauce. Or grape. Oh, I really don't like grapefruit. Or beets. Nine out of 19. So again, less than half. But I've checked more than 73. Right, okay. I've, I understand what that bit now means checked more than 73% of the total answers they've collected through this quiz. But apparently liking more than, liking less than half of the ones on the list mean I like all the foods still. <laughs> and Cryptic, we know you're a fan of the cream pies. We've seen your <laughs> Google search history. It's going all right, Duck Dog. <laughs> I'm only a few months younger than Pete. Yeah. And I'm only a few months younger than Carla. Mm-hmm. I don't get that, though. How does liking less than half of it mean I like all the foods? I don't know. Maybe some had more points than others. I don't know. Mm. Pete Should we call up BuzzFeed? Oh, for God. Oh my god, I hate this. Okay, these are the questions that keep people divided. Your answers will reveal your personality type. I sincerely doubt it, but it would be interesting to get people's perspective on some of these. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's half of the idea of this. You know, that we discuss the weird and random shit we're being asked. And how daft these quizzes are. Alright, I'm going to close some of these tabs in the background. Right. Oh, they don't play that game. I just love the fact I'm a pack of walkers. <laughs> <laughs> what flavour? <coughs> uh, ready salted, obviously. <laughs> oh, apparently, according to this, I'm a class act. Ooh. All right. So, regular or white Mac uh, cheddar? Uh, where could... Oh, fucking hell. Regular or white cheddar mac and cheese? I like the regular. Mm, yeah. Although, no. Uh... Regular tends to be a lot more filling. I can eat a lot more of the white cheddar. In one sitting. But the, the regular, I tend to feel a bit sick after so much of it. <laughs> That's racist. Oh, Koi Wolf. Right. Do you keep the toilet paper roll over or under? Over. Over. You're a monster if you put it under. Even in the instructions, it has to go over. Yeah. <laughs> You're a monster if you put it under. What's the matter with you? Even worse is if you take it off the holder altogether and put it on the bath next to the <laughs> toilet. You big drove the scum of the earth. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> over. I'm a right. type 1 class act. Do you leave your phone... On light or dark mode? Always dark mode. Always dark mode as well, because if you have an OLED screen in your phone, black pixels aren't actually illuminated, so it saves your battery. Eh? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. That's only if you, your phone has an OLED screen. Putting it under makes it so the cat can't get the damn roll. Keep the cat out of the bathroom! 
Unless you put the litter tray in the bathroom, there's no reason for the cat to be in the bathroom. What is it with cats anyway? Right, sometimes when I've not quite closed the door properly or forgotten to lock it. Right, I'm sitting there having a shit. And the cat will just come in and stare at me as if to say, what are you doing? <laughs> you fucking know what I'm doing. <laughs> in fact, you, <laughs> you know what I'm doing because when you use... <laughs> When you use a litter tray, you do the same thing. You turn round and stare. <laughs> You're not worse than Hitler, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, They're brutal. <laughs> do you wear socks hey, if or you no socks? Act, so... Depends sometimes. It obviously ain't right. <laughs> Sorry, Hitler. Sorry, Hitler. See the sock question? That's... It's so dependent on whether it's, you know, summer or winter. Yeah, yeah. So, no. In the winter, yeah, because I freeze. In the summer, no, because I, I'll bake <laughs> in bed. Hmm. All right. Do you use the same starting word every day for Wordle or a different... I don't play Wordle. Where's the option for that? Ah, uh, I don't either. Boy, I saw that and went, what? No, come on. I don't even on. know how or... I don't... I know what Hurdle is, which is the music one. Uh, I would probably use the same word. Mm. Right. Do you cut a sandwich diagonally or straight? Straight. <laughs> oh. I do it diagonally. I always fuck it up when I do it diagonally. I... Ow. Well, it, it just seems to completely shred the bread to pieces when I do it diagonally. So I just do it... I do it That's... straight across. Huh. It's a... Uh... Huh. Yeah. Maybe it's the crust. I don't know. So... I use a bread knife. It makes it easier. Mm. Morning or... I much prefer morning showers. Uh, I take mine at night because, you know, work... I don't want mm. to bring all that into my bed. Okay, nacho cheese or Cool Ranch? Um, probably Cool Ranch. Because nacho cheese can be a bit overpowering. Mm. Yeah, Cool Ranch. Reading books. Yeah, I don't like. Mm. I don't like Doritos. Mm. Yeah, it's not my go-to snack. <laughs> Reading books. I'm, it depends on the book. There are some books, actually, that I've tried to sit down and read myself. Mm -hmm. And ended up just going, do you know what? There must be an audio book of this somewhere instead. <laughs> and ended up listening to that. <laughs> and the best, what, best example of that I can give is the Alan Partridge books. Um, like I Partridge and Nomad because they're pretty much written in Alan Partridge's voice anyway it's just well, much with... funnier to hear him to hear Steve Coogan reading it as Alan Partridge because you get all the inflections as well well the thing with a lot of audiobooks too is people will listen to them when they're doing something else you know if you're at work yes. and yes and you don't need to be so focused yeah the thing is, depending on the book, though, I can do that. But mostly it needs my full attention. So I tend to do it at night. I tend to listen to audiobooks and audio dramas by, at night. Mm -hmm. Depending on what it is. If it's something I have to sit and follow, then yeah, fine. But if I'm listening to like um, an audio sitcom, a radio sitcom or a... Um, a funny book like I, I listened to all of um, one of Tatani McGrath's audio books the other day then I can have that on in the background whilst I'm doing other things but if it's something that I have to involve myself in then I would much prefer to give it my full attention I yeah. hate yeah. credible threat and happy Easter if indeed you celebrate it So I'm going to say reading, but 
Oh, well, actually, I'm going to change Sorry, it to audio books because I do tend to listen to more audio books. But that's just because most of the stuff I listen to aren't strictly books, but they're all from Audible. So, <laughs> yeah. I just found a very funny quiz. I, I'm gonna. Sorry, I just kind of right. burst out with a. Ah! <laughs> all right, hold on. And do you make your bed every day or leave it unmade? It depends. It depends. Some days I'll make it, some days I'll leave it, and some days I do a half ass job in between. Some um, days you don't leave it. Yeah. No, no. Well, yeah. True. I'm, I'm a class act. I'm a class act. Hey, not bad. Hey, I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add that to my Twitter bio. A class act. According to a BuzzFeed <laughs> quiz. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got I got class act as well. Yeah, me too. But I'm good. Fuck it. I'm gonna do this tomorrow. I'm gonna update my um, banner on YouTube and Twitter. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna put that as like a review quote. A class act, BuzzFeed. <laughs> you know, like it's a review for a film or something. Oh my god. <laughs> because we've got the proof here, live on air. We got the proof. <laughs> So, okay, this is the one that made me go, ah! All Which right. Spice Girl are you, based on your dream apartment? Where are they drawing these correlations from? <laughs> I don't know! Oh, I'm going for this one. Let's, let's have a go. Yes, I, I, I am in. Let's do yeah. this. Which which friends character are you based on? Based on your, based on your the position you sit on the toilet in. All right, let's do this. Which Spice Girl are you based on your dream apartment? I'm Sporty Spice. All right, choose a living room. Let's have a look. I quite like that one, actually. Right. Um, choose a kitchen. Ooh, I'm posh spice. I quite like that one. Ooh. Oh, you are a lady, so... I am. Yeah. I'm old spice. No, uh... <laughs> choose a plant. That... Isn't that ginger spice? No, uh... <laughs> I'm all space. That's a point, actually. That's a point. Sarah, how did you not end up as ginger spice? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Maybe Choose... because she left. Hmm. Plant to liven up the place. Probably go for that one because it looks like less maintenance. Choose a bedroom. Fuck it, that one's got a load of books in it. Choose a bathroom. Yep, can't beat a bathroom with a little step ladder in it. And sporty spice, apparently. Yay! <laughs> We're similar spice girls. Honestly, I'm sporty <laughs> spice. Scout spice. Um, this is another oh. really weird one. As well as okay. a controversial opinion, but Sporty Spice, the only one who could sing. I agree. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's the only one who could sing out of that. <clears throat> Here's one that I, I don't understand how any of this is connected, but okay. Describe your ideal date, and I'll guess what percent your phone battery is on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Um, okay, here we go. This will be interesting. I, how, what is that? I don't know. God, Jesus. <laughs> Let's have a go. All right. Describe your ideal date and I'll, right, here we go. So, who are you taking on your date? Is it a BFF, a celebrity, a crush, or um, S.O.? So what's that? Serving officer. 
Okay, it says <laughs> gonna be 50 to 75%. My phone is at 97%. <laughs> so, wrong! Uh, on a date, probably significant other. Um, where are you eating? Fancy restaurant, my house, fast food restaurant, or a park? Fast food restaurant, to be honest with you. I'm a cheap date, what can I say? One for 25%. My phone's on 57%, so it's wrong. What are you eating? Probably a burger, to be fair. What time? Uh... Seven. What's your second activity? Beach, hanging out, watching a movie, or the date is over. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's that's simple and stark, isn't it? Nope, that's it, we're eating. Go home now. Must have been a very <laughs> bad date. Jeez. Yeah. Or a very hot date, and you didn't want to do the second activity. Well, not the one listed on there anyway. Probably hanging out. All right, finally, what time is your date over? No earlier than midnight. Yeah. 1 to 25%. Bollocks. My phone is at 66% right now. <laughs> Alright, I've just glanced at my backup phone, which is at 16%. <laughs> Who are you? You've got a backup phone? Well, yeah, because I, I got a a new phone and then i got given a new sim card but i need to keep the old one active just in case so mm -hmm. i have it in my yeah. old phone i never do anything with it or go anywhere with it but... it's also because when i did change my number i don't think everybody got the message and i know this because i rang my dad off my new number and he didn't know who the fuck it was <laughs> 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 Well, by he didn't know who it was. I mean, he didn't answer because he didn't know who it was. Jeez. I had to text him and go, Oi! <laughs> it's me! It's just reminded me to put my phone on charge. <laughs> <laughs> always a good idea. Charge your phone. <laughs> Big Dro, you're always thinking of intercourse. Usually in the oh. most depraved, depraved manner. As we've seen from your bloody donation messages. 50 to 75, but I just pulled it off the charger. Ah. Does anyone else, um, when they charge their phone, once it gets to 100%, if you're not really doing anything, like in my case, if I'm working at my desk or I'm, I'm, I'm sat here streaming, I'll just leave it on charge. Uh, yeah, I leave it plugged in. Yeah. yeah, I'll just leave it. That so ruins not... the battery. Yeah, I was going to say, because you're not really supposed to do that. And you are supposed to let your phone completely run down. Every now and again. Not charging it when it gets low, but just let it completely run down and die out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, I've got a, do you think these universally hated things deserve another chance? Oh, go on, let's this have a look. This one's pretty short. Let's so, have a look. You already know what's on here. You know what's on here. <laughs> All right. I leave mine off. I only, I only need to prove who I am to Susan Wojak Horseface. <laughs> well. All right. Do you think these, you know, honeydew, like the melon? Yeah. yeah it's great. Melon. I love it. Why do people hate it? I, I, I didn't know this was yeah, hated. I didn't know people hated melon. <laughs> Anyone in the chat, do you hate honeydew melons? This isn't... No! It's great! I think we've seen 42% of people agree. I 
I don't even know what kind of fruit is universally hated. Oh, wow, well, this second one. This second one's obvious. The font Comic Sans. <laughs> it's a font... Fu- right, I've, I'll admit, I genuinely, I don't know how people can have such violent hate for a font. But... I don't know either. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> it is a shit font. So, yeah, it is a, it is a shit font. I just don't know. I just don't get people's violent hatred of it. <laughs> Voicemails. They're just thing. They're not not so bad if someone tries to ring you and you don't answer. Leave a voicemail or text. I don't care which. Not so bad. Who hates voicemails? Pineapple pizza. It's bad. Yeah. Again, another thing I don't understand the violent hatred of, but... It's... It's bad. It's not good for the soul, guys. (laughs) Using the word literally for emphasis. It's annoying. I literally... Clicked no. It's literally the worst thing you can do. <laughs> it's fun and useful slang. No, it's not. No, it slang. isn't. It isn't slang. It's literally the most annoying thing. <laughs> Nickelback. Nickelback are not. They're not a bad band. They're a basic band. I don't get why yeah. they get so much hate. Yeah. They're fun to shit on. Basically. Uh, candy corn. Candy corn is... Oh, yeah. I hate candy corn. I've never had it. It's just, well, lucky you. It's just nah, it... tooth-shaped lumps of corn, isn't it? Uh, not well, corn, it... sugar. Honey. Oh, is uh. Yeah, it's made with honey. Mm. It's not so bad. You love candy corn, eh? Yeah. I know a lot of people do love it. I just don't. I loved it more when I was a kid, but you mm. know, your tastes change. I've got one, but I'm not sure I can put it in the chat. Go on. Oh, it's the ice cream one, but I don't know whether I can put links in your chat or not because I'm not a mod. Link it to me. I'll put it in there. Mm. Okay. What the hell was that? No, okay. <laughs> I'm just like, how do I do it? How do I link it to Karma? Try to yeah. do it on Discord. I think Sarah was just finishing a poo as she said that as well. No, okay. <laughs> no it wasn't. I told you earlier. I'm going for a poo. <laughs> See, I never had the ribbon candies. You only really get those around Christmas time. What are ribbon candies? They're like ribbons of candy. <laughs> Is it that simple? <laughs> All right, and saying the word like a lot, oh, it's irritating. Like, totally irritating. Like, hello! Like, literally. Like, hi. like, literally the most irritating thing in the world. Like. <laughs> like, okay. Huh? Right, this is the one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to say, I've just looked over it. <laughs> I've just looked over at Twitter. Johnny Hellcat tweeted a picture at me of a cat sat on top of a toilet. So, by all means, proceed. Uh, this ice cream truck quiz will reveal your true emotional age on each image tap the ice cream treat you want to eat the most 
Tooth is satisfied will reveal your emotional age. What does this have to do with... Uh, oh, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. What's the end of this quiz? This universally hated thing? It's just a poll. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Hmm. What was I going to say? Is that it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, that was a letdown. Oh my god! My true emotional age is 32! <laughs> oh, go on. Hang on. Satan's tears. Are you alright, Big Drunk? <laughs> I'm 32 too. Two, two, two. <laughs> I'm 34, but I'm 32 too. <laughs> 32 too. You're 322? Yes. Alright. So, on each image, tap the ice cream you want to eat the most. Once your sweet tooth is satisfied, we will reveal your emotional age. Ready? Let's see. Pick your first treat. Ooh, very nice. What do you want next? That looks nice. Just these treats. That one. Nice lemon and lime um, outer shell thing. Oh, rainbow lolly. Yeah. Finally, pick the last one. Probably just go for a whippy cone. I'm 32 as well. I somehow don't wow. think there are that many um, um, possible outcomes to this quiz. Probably yeah, because you chose completely different from me. Yeah. yeah. You're probably younger. No, <laughs> older. But you possess a wisdom and maturity of someone several years older. Now, that's fucking confusing. Um, Here's something else that's very confusing. I found a quiz that can determine what type of shoe you are. Okay. <laughs> Send it this way, Karma. I've always wanted to know what kind of shoe I am. <laughs> It pains me every day that I wake up not knowing what kind of shoe I am. You'd calm yourself. Answer these five simple questions and you'll find out. <laughs> okay, let's give this a go. Well, we don't have a Nando's around here, at least not one that I'm aware of. Yeah, uh, you don't have many Nando's over in America, do you? No. I think we have one here, but I've never, hmm. I've never been there. All right, let's see. Choose a fast food restaurant. So McDonald's, KFC, Burger King, Subway, Nando's, or Taco. Uh, uh, hang up. Right, okay. I see why you mentioned Nando's now. But my experience of Nando's is that's anything but fast food. <laughs> but I'll, I'm all, I'll always go for a Subway. No. I'm a sneaker. Me I'm too. a sneaker. <laughs> I'm a sneaker. Choose a show. Friends, all of us are dead. Euphoria, keeping up with the Kardashians. Grey's Anatomy, all Stranger Things. Friends, probably. Yeah, okay, I don't. I pet. haven't watched any of those shows. <laughs> choose a pet. Cat, dog, bunny, fishes. Cat. Hamster or bird? Cat. Cat, yeah. No. Yeah. There is cat. no or. There is only cat. <laughs> I went for hamster. All right. Confucius. There is no or. Only cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Choose a bedroom. Oh, fuck it. I quite like that one. Yeah. And finally, choose a flower. Sunflower, a rose, a daisy, a lotus, a marigold, or a lilac. That's rude. Uh, hmm. I just scrolled down your Sunflower. YouTube stream to try to scroll down the BuzzFeed quiz on your screen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm Boots. You're strong, passionate, and adventurous. You love trying new things and getting out of your comfort zone. Well, now I know what kind of shoe I am. Do you sleep tonight? 
Just wait a second. I've just remembered. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write it down so I remember to do it. But <laughs> you gotta act. write down to remember you're a boot. No class <laughs> act. I'm just a sneaky sneaker. You are the sneaking. Yeah, sneaky, uh, sneaky. There we go. Here's another one which is weird. Which celebrity is your personality twin? Eat a massive meal to find out. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Do that. Alright, give me a sec. Sorry about this. I didn't know it took that long to write down. I am a boot. No, 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 no. I'm, <laughs> I'm just checking something else. And I wasn't writing down, I am a boot. I was writing a reminder to add a class act to my bio. <laughs> Apparently, I'm Ariana Grande. I don't know who that is. Is she a singer? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. I don't even know who the celebrities are anymore. That's bad. Shirati, I still want to know what is in what in Oxford. I think it's a shoe. Right. Okay, here we go. Let's see. What drink are you having with breakfast? Prob oh, wine. Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah, Oxfords are like those dress shoes that you would normally wear with like a tuxedo or something like that, I think. I'm heels, so I'm fabulous. Yes, you're fabulous. Probably tea with breakfast. All right, main oh breakfast. Oh God, meal. I'm Taylor Swift. Pick no. An <laughs> Pick a fruit. Uh, Fru fuck me! What the hell was it? Someone's letting off fireworks. <laughs> Thank you so much, lady person. And up, uh, yeah, smoothie, lunch, a hamburger, and chips. What's your main course for dinner? Chicken tenders. Oh, yeah. What about the best part of the day? Dessert. Probably birthday cake day ice. Birthday cake ice cream. I'm Taylor Swift as well. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. It's all right. If you don't like that answer, guys, you can just shake it off. Oh, God. I already have the shamefulness of knowing I share a birthday with Kim Kardashian, and now I know I'm a personality twin with Taylor Swift. Oh, uh, <laughs> man. Here's another one that's probably going to be tough. Eliminate desserts from around the world, and I'm warning you now, it won't be easy. So, what would you save and destroy? I know. Oh, the first one, I'm already stuck. It's Italian desserts. How am I supposed to pick between tiramisu and cannolis? Oh, my God. You and your cannoli corner. I love cannolis. They're so good. They're okay, so for each good. cuisine, I'll show you six popular desserts. You can only save one, and the rest will be eliminated. What's this for? Eliminate desserts from... Right. Okay, so what's the idea of this one? Just get rid of the dessert? You can only pick one to save. So oh. what one would you save? Well, that bottom one's definitely out because I can't say it. Um, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I'll save tiramisu. You only save one Japanese dessert. Strawberry mochi. Oh, God, no thanks. Japanese cheesecake. That just looks like sponge. That just looks like sponge cake. And that coffee je Oh, God, no. Coffee jelly sounds awful. Taiyaki. That looks like a giant fish biscuit. Matcha ice cream. Just for pure inventiveness, I'd have to save the taiyaki. Just look at that derpy it, fish. It, 
It isn't made of fish. It, it's no, I gathered it wasn't made, of made fish. in yeah. the shape of fish. Yeah, I gathered it wasn't <laughs> made of fish. All right, French dessert: crème brûlée, palmier cookies, clafoutis, madeleines, tartar tatin, or pistachio macaron. Oh God, no! Uh, I'll just say crème brûlée. Okay, you can only save one Indian dessert. Um, gulab jamun. Never heard of it. Rice pudding. Is that, is that really an Indian dessert? Carrot pudding. Mm hmm. I'm going to say I've never heard of that, but before anyone jumps in, I'm fully aware from the name and looking at the picture of what it involves. Um, I've just never heard of it. Right, mango halwa. Uh, not a big mango person. Yeah, tea ice cream. <laughs> yeah, actually, the matcha ice cream. If you've ever had matcha, mm. ooh, really yummy. Funi? No, I don't know what it is. And I can't stand coconut, so that's out. I'll save rice pudding, obviously. One Mexican dessert. Oh, wait, already. I don't have to look at the others. Already. Caramel you can save flan. the churros, right? <clears throat> no, caramel Oh, flan. really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welsh cakes for the win, says Credible. We'll see if they come up. Okay. You can only save one Chinese dessert. Right, egg tarts. Yeah, I quite like an egg custard. Which is what we call them over here, yeah? Right, a fag gap, no. Uh, actually, that one was quite nice. Sesame butt, no thanks. So cheap, no. Pineapple, no, not a big pineapple person either. Mung bean, no, God. Mung bean cake, that just sounds like... Mung bean just sounds like a medical condition. Um, Safe <laughs> egg tarts. And finally... You can only save one American dessert. Apple pie. New York style cheesecake. Bananas foster. Whoopie pies. Pecan pie. Boston cream pie. Fuck it, whoopie pies. Or oh, actually, that New York style cheesecake looks quite nice. Ah, whoopie pies. Only 7%. It's another one of those. I'm not... I, I don't know what... Yeah, what it's more of a... supposed to get out of that. <laughs> That's just one of those interesting things. I, I do oh. have to head out, so I'm going to yeah. go. Uh, have fun. I'll still be lurking. No worries. No worries. Give it Hello. this. All right, baby. It's 25 to 10 now. Might go for about another 25 minutes. End at about 10-ish. Ooh. Yeah. Look at the comments here. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Words to live by. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all food-based. I'm not really interested in any more food-based ones. We've done loads. We've done loads of food-based ones. And we've all... Discovered how uncultured I am when it comes to food. Oh, here we go. Here are 25 of the hardest questions in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire history. Can you get one right? I'll put this one in the chat. Let's see. Right. According to the Population Reference Bureau... Oh, they're all going to be the American who wants to be a millionaire, aren't they? Right. What's the approximate number of people who have ever lived on Earth? Is it 50 billion, 100 billion, 1 trillion, or 5 trillion? Huh. 
One tri oh no, 100 billion. Not as many people as I thought. And a rare example of a word that rhymes with orange. The blorange is a... Oh, I did know this one. Uh, I think it's a forest in Scotland. Oh, no. No. I've just seen that now, Credible. Yeah, it's a mountain in Wales. Hmm. Before the American colonies, mm -hmm. <laughs> before the American colonies switched to the Gregorian calendar, on what date did the New Year start? Twenty fifth of March. Thank you. Yay! I got one right. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following landlocked countries is entirely contained within another country? Luxembourg. No, no. Oh, I was so sure about that one as well. And, oh, it's uh, Blurringe is near Abergavenny, is it? Oh. Which of the following is not the title of a country song released by Netflix phenomenon Joe Exotic, also known as The Tiger King? Big hearted cat. I saw the tiger. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. King of the beasts. Uh, I don't know why I did them in that voice. <laughs> I saw a tiger. Which one is not? I I saw a tiger. Oh no, big hearted cat. Any um, Tiger King fans watching? Who knew that one? No. Any Tiger King fans? <laughs> no. <laughs> Although he and his wife never touched a light switch for fear of being shocked, who was the first president to have electricity in the White House? Ulysses S. Grant, Andrew Jackson, Benjamin Harrison, or Chester A. Arthur? Again, pure guess. Chester A. Arthur. Ooh, no. ben, ben Harrison. The Earth is approximately how... I'm doing terribly here. The only one of these I've got right so far is the one that um, Sarah told me. Earth is approximately how many miles away from the sun? Is it 9.3 million, 93 million, 39 million, or 193 million? I think it's 93. Yes! I will admit that was a pure guess. Compiled by Benjamin Franklin in 1737, the Drinker's Dictionary included all but which of these synonyms for drunkenness? Nymptopsical, buzzy, pifflicated, <coughs> staggerish. I really want to believe that pifflicated is is a synonym for <laughs> drunkenness so I'm not picking that one Nymptoxical uh, Oh no, it, oh fuck it was pifflicated Oh Doesn't mean you can't make it Yeah, alright It starts here guys The campaign to get pifflicated recognised as a synonym for being pissed <laughs> You're a bit here. pifficated aren't you? Yeah <laughs> I'm a bit pissed. <laughs> that just sounds like you're saying pissed with a lisp. <laughs> I was well and truly pissed. <laughs> a bit pissed. Right. Nephelokojikia. That word. Is the practice of doing what? Sneezing with your eyes open, I think. Oh no, finding shapes in clouds. Ah! Ooh. In the children's book series, where is Paddington Bear originally from? India, Peru, Canada or Iceland? It's Peru! Deepest, darkest, darkest Peru. Peru. Yeah. Darkest Peru. Another one right. <laughs> Yay! 
<laughs> Credible threat. Not gay, but I have sat atop Lord Hereford's knob. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to be fair, credible as long as you said no homo before doing it, it's fine. <laughs> huh? Hello, our honey monster. <laughs> Who delivered the last famous two hour speech that preceded Abraham Lincoln's two minute address at uh, Gettysburg address? Oh, I did hear about this. Good evening, oh, honey good monster. Evening. Wendell Phil No, no. Edward Everett. Ah. In what country are all US Major League Baseballs currently manufactured? Costa Rica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, or Cuba? Cuba, isn't it? No, no, Costa Rica. <laughs> I tried to sound like I made a definite. You are a terrible group, I love it. <laughs> Uh, in addition to his career as an astrologer and prophet, Nostradamus published a 1555 treatise that included a section on what? Is it training parrots to talk, cheating at card games, digging graves, or making jams and jellies? Mm. I want to go for training parrots to talk, but <laughs> that's probably not correct at all. I just wish that was... Um, cheating at card games, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Digging I think it is. I don't... Yeah, it it strikes me as something that's it strikes me as something that I've heard before. But no, no, it was making jams and jellies. Oh, oh! I wish it was the train parrots to talk. <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> what first lady was a ninth generation descendant of Pocahontas? Was it Helen Taft, Edith Wilson, Bess Truman, or Mamie Eisenhower? Mamie Eisenhower, maybe? Yeah, I'm... Com like I said, these must come from the American one, because... Ah, oh, no, it was Edith yeah. Wilson. Um... Alright, which of the following pieces of currency was the first to use the motto... In God We Trust. Was it the nickel, the one dollar bill, the two cents piece, or the five dollar bill? I don't know, I'm not American. Americans, help us. I think it's the one dollar bill, isn't it? Mm. She was, uh, yeah, she was only one 1024th Pocahontas. <laughs> Is it a nickel, Sharati? No, two cents. Mm. What insect shorted out an early supercomputer and inspired the term computer bug? Oh. Now I heard, ah, oh, I heard this story. Can it a spider? No, it's a moth, a roach, a fly, or a Japanese beetle. Now I heard this story, but I don't remember them specifying what kind of insect it was. Because I heard it in the fact that the fact that it inspired the term computer bug is actually an apocryphal tale. It didn't. It was just one of them little ironies. Uh, I think it was a roach. Yeah. No, it was a moth. Ah. We're back on moths. We were talking about moths earlier. And their balls. <laughs> I must have missed that part of the conversation. Well, it's... It, it was earlier when I pointed out that um, the mothman never gets holes in his underwear because of his moth balls. Oh... Which of the following men does not have a chemical element named for him? Is it Albert Einstein, Niels Bohr, Isaac Newton, or 
Enrico Fermi. Maybe Albert Einstein, because he came after all the rest of them. Um, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I know, I know, Honey Monster. I, I, I picked the same thing. I, I picked the same thing before I read that. But yeah, yeah, turns out it was a moth. But um, right. I'm trying to think. Fermi. I'm thinking of F E R. That's what's well F E. That's iron, isn't it? See, but the periodic table was already written before Albert Einstein. Yeah, but they're was discovering about. new elements all the time, and they're being added to the periodic table. I mean, you. Probably, you look at the periodic table now from when you were back at school, there's probably one, at least one or two elements that weren't on there when when we were in school. Maybe. There yeah, is Einsteinium. Is that one of the noble gases, then? Honey monster. I think it's Newton. Uh, Newton. I, I don't know why Sharati, but I've got the name I've I've got the name Newtonium in my head, but Right, yeah, we're gonna go for Newton. Ah yes! Damn right, Sharati! Hey Ooh. So yeah, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna guess Honey Monster's right with Einsteinium. I'm gonna assume I was correct with Fermi being um Iron. I've just joined in. You're talking about but Hey! Hello, Shadow. How's it going? Hi, Shadow. And I think Niels Bohr. That's Boron? The uh, gas? Boron. Boron, it's gas. Yeah. Right. The most popular TV episode of all time, the final episode of MASH, aired at 8.30pm on February the 28th, 1983, following what sitcom? Oh! It's either Private Benjamin no. or Newhart. But the options are Private Benjamin, Square Pegs, Alice or Newhart. Now, I've never seen any of the other sitcoms. I've seen MASH, and I've seen the episode that this question's about, obviously. But... I'm, no I'm bloody good, Shadow. Either. I'm good. I have no idea. I'm starting to think... Private Benjamin? Private Benjamin might have been... <coughs> Might have been a silly, confusing scheduling um, issue on that, considering that the main character in MASH was called um, Benjamin, and the, he was in the army. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to say Newhart. Yeah, there is, um, incredible, there is a film, Private Benjamin. Um, Goldie Horn is in that. Yeah. But it might be a film version of the sitcom. I think Newhart. Honey Monster says Alice. We've both been wrong when me and Honey Monster have agreed. So I'm going to go for Newhart. Ow! Fuck you, you tricked me, Honey Monster. <laughs> <laughs> People who have a marked physical reaction to beautiful art are said to suffer from what syndrome? Proust syndrome, Jerusalem syndrome, Stendhal syndrome, Beckett's syndrome, or D or E malingering. Um Huh. I don't know. For some reason Beckett sort of came out to me, but um no. Proust syndrome seems a bit on the nose. <laughs> I 
Yeah, Proust syndrome seems a bit on the nose, um, as does Beckett. But then again, they Proust and Beckett were playwrights, weren't they? Not painters. Well, I know um, Beckett was, Sam, um, Samuel Beckett. <laughs> Stendhal syndrome seems too medical for a condition like this. Mark's physical reaction to beautiful art. Now it's Proust, Chirati. <laughs> Prost syndrome is people who have a marked physical reaction to French Formula One drivers. There's an old reference for you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say Jerusalem. Oh no! Hey! You were right, honey monster, with your another guest. Which letter must appear at the beginning of a registration of all non-military aircraft in the USA? In the US. Is it N, A, U or L? Hmm. I don't know. I do not. Uh, mm. But if I knew. You. Non military aircraft. Do you think it's you? No, it was N. I'm going to guess with um, the way Americans name thing, it probably just means not that the N stands for non military. What club did astronaut Alan Shepard use to make his famous golf shot on the moon? Was it a nine iron, a sand wedge, a seven iron, or a, uh, or a six iron? Nine iron? That's, that's the only one I've really heard of. <laughs> I'm not very cultured, okay? Something I've just noticed as well. Guys, guys what, um, watching the stream, what colour does the box that the um, questions and answers appear to you? Because on one screen, here, on my main screen, that's blue. But I'm looking over at my second screen, which is where I have YouTube Studio. It's like a it's very purple. dark blue or purple. Yeah, but on the preview, on my second screen, it looks like purple purple. It's like, it's like a Cadbury's purple. Yeah, like yeah. velvet purple. Yeah, it looks like Cadbury's purple. But on, um, yeah, but on my main screen, it looks like almost navy blue weird hmm. let me hang on a sec i'll just move hey it must be the monitor then because i've just moved i've just moved the window over onto the other screen and it looks more purple huh must have been a six iron karma says six iron but she also said better he better have used a sand wedge Hmm. All right. We'll go with six iron. <laughs> Sandwich. Hey. Blurple. Blurple indeed. All right. During World War II, the US soldiers used the first commercial aerosol cans to hold what? Was it cleaning fluid, antiseptic, insecticide, or shaving cream? 
What was the question again? Sorry. During World War Two, U.S. soldiers used the first commercial air assault cans to hold what? I would have said shaving gel because they're all about shaving their heads. Yeah, I think shaving cream as well. All right, fuck it, we'll go for it. No, no, insecticide. Oh. Quite how you fit. Maybe a... it was the British ones then. Quite how you fit a Nirvana B sides album in an aerosol can. I have no idea. But. Yeah, I so would have thought shaving cream. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. The US icon, Uncle Sam, was based on Samuel Wilson, who worked during the war of 1812 as a what? Was he a meat inspector? A mail delivery? <laughs> <laughs> meat inspector. Cryptic? No, um... <laughs> mail deliverer. Historian or weapons? He was a ma he was a mailman, wasn't he? Yes, I do know this one. He he was a mailman. Oh no, he was a meat inspector. Ah. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? I don't know. Because <laughs> that's your dream job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <laughs> Who did the artist Grant Wood use as the model for the farmist in his classic painting, American Gothic? So was it? I know this one. Travelling salesman, local sheriff, his dentist, or his butcher? Dentist. Dentist. It's the dentist. I know this one. I watched the graveyard thing yesterday, and it said it's a dentist. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah. No, you're right. No, Shadowloaf knows. Uh, Shadowloaf knows has got a point there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot you were in the chat. Yeah, if any, if it's going to be anyone's job in the chat, it's going to be Shadowloaf knows job, meat inspector. <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> God, these really are American, too American centric. Come on, the song gl Glod. The song God Bless America was written for what 1918 musical? Was it Oh Lady, Lady? Yep, 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 Pank. These are made up, surely. Was it Blossom Time or Watch Your Step? I've never heard of any of them. Blossom Time seems the only one that doesn't sound like a bullshit. <laughs> huh? But I don't know, this is America and it could be any of them. Watch Your Step. Watch Your Step just sounds like the name of a very bad 70s British sitcom. Probably made, <laughs> yeah. pro probably made by Thames Television. <laughs> yeah, after... after the Minds of the Gap program. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch your step. It's a rip-off of On the Buses. Oh, no, that was ITV as well, wasn't it? On the Buses. Watch your step is a rip-off of Mind the Gap. <laughs> <laughs> Blossom Time sounds plausible as a guess. Mm. I've never heard of any of these. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. Yang Hank sounds like someone orgasm. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh. I don't know who you've been sleeping oh, with, but if, <laughs> but if that's how people you've slept with have orgasm, <laughs> you're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, credible threat. Oh, Watch lady, your oh, with Bill Maynard, Jim Davidson, Robin <laughs> Asquith, and Diana Dawes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh lady, oh lady, sounds like, you know, when you're doing it, and then, yip, 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 hang. <laughs> and then watch your step as you go out. Uh, <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> yip, yip. <laughs> Is it yip, yip, karma? 
<sighs> Let's go for that then. Yep, yep. Hey! Hey, there we go. You scored better than 52. We got 7 out of 25. Right. <laughs> Congratulations, yeah. you got at least one correct. Fucking got seven correct, thank you very fucking much. Better than 52% of all of the quiz takers. <laughs> and we're British as well. So. Yeah. How does that work? No. Right. Zoomed in at 110% and it's left justified. Zoom into 130% and it's centred. Weird. BuzzFeed, your website's shit. <laughs> You're only finding this out now, are you? <laughs> I'm going to push it on. We're going to push it on for a little bit. Are you good for a little bit? Another 20 minutes or so? Yeah. I just need to go and have a wee, but I'll be back in a sec. That's fine. That's fine. So about 3 out of 25 was the average It would seem so, honey mons Well these are, were supposedly the hardest questions On who wants to be a millionaire ever The hardest million pound questions Sorry, dollar Sorry, gotta get the Gotta get the currency right just means it's worth less that it's in dollars. The most of the internet cheated. I will guarantee that. Well, yeah, yeah. Be honest. Be honest, guys. Those of you in the chat who um, suggested answers, how how many of you had looked up, looked them up? That's one of the things. That's why I don't really do quizzes that often on um, on streams. It's part of the trick to doing <laughs> it's worth a lot less now yeah yeah part of the trick to doing quizzes on um streams and things like that is don't give people time to look up the answers or you just go no. off whoever types it first in the chat but yeah oof <laughs> yep, Carver looked up yip yip because it was so weird. Ah, there we go. Uh, hand on heart, no cheating. Only plonkers would do that. <laughs> well, to be fair, you did admit you were just guessing a lot of the time. Let's see. All right. Pretend you're a character on the on a 2022 Friends remake. To reveal which character you're most like. I did make a joke about finding out which friend's character you were earlier. So let's do this. I'll, pl I'll plunk this in the chat if anyone wants to play along for themselves. And find out if they're Ross or Rachel. Or one of the other ones. <laughs> Alright. Choose a modern career. Drone pilot and designer. Professor and podcast host. Own a professional meal prep business. Social media marketing director for Mark Jacobs. Yoga instructor or YouTube content maker. I'd be lying if I didn't pick that one. <coughs> so, choose a food trend you enjoy. Ramen bowls, Korean tacos, gourmet adult grilled cheese. Adult grilled cheese? How is adult grilled cheese any different from... Non-adult grilled cheese. <laughs> There's even a song called Oh How I Hate to Get Up in the Morning. Is there? Yeah, I've never watched... Ah, fair enough. Well, the quiz is there if anyone wants to take it. Right. Extreme, extreme... Because everything's got to be fucking extreme these days. You've had a cup of tea, but have you had an extreme cup of tea? <laughs> Do popsicle cocktails? Huh? That... 
Is that just a frozen cocktail? Avocado to Oh, fuck. Right off. That looks like someone sneezed on it. Uh, that'd have to go with gourmet adult grilled cheese. You know, the concept confuses me. Which quarantine activity would you try or continue to do? Making organic candles. This candle smells like my knob. No, um... <laughs> well, if Gwyneth Paltrow can do one that smells like her fucking cunt, then... TikTok dance challenges. Nah. Making sourdough bread and homemade jam. Fuck that. Online gaming. Eh. Jewelry making or learning new language online. Online gaming. Choose an online tour. Or cam to watch. Alright, steady on BuzzFeed. What are the options? <laughs> Organic candles, not orgasmic candles. <laughs> It would only be the fragrance. I'm not moulding it. Credible. Um, <laughs> just a wick sticking out the end. No. <laughs> Need a lot of wax. That's all I'm saying, ladies. Choose an online tour or cam to watch. Virtual wine tour and pairings lessons. Walk through with Disney World. Tour of the Met's fashion exhibition. NASA tour. Uh, NASA Mars tour. Local zoo camera. Or tour of the Louvre. I, I am Joey. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I'd take a Mars tour. Maybe time to consider a move. Where would you go? So Edinburgh in Scotland. Fuck off, I'm not going to Scotland. Las Vegas, Nevada. Portland, Oregon. Montego Bay, Jamaica. Savannah, Georgia. Sydney, Australia. Probably Savannah, Georgia, actually. Choose a Broadway show to attend. The Lion King, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Child Phantom of the Opera, Wicked, Mrs. Doubtfire or Hamilton. I'd, I'd go and see Phantom of the Opera again. I've seen it on the West End. <laughs> And I quite enjoyed it, actually. Not a big musicals person, but I quite enjoyed that. That and War of the Worlds. And I've seen Rent as well. I enjoyed that. So I say I'm not a musicals person. That's in theory. Choose a New York City event to attend. The Winter Show. Antiques, antique shopping. I would rather pull my eyelashes out. <laughs> one by one than go antique shopping. Earth Day Festival in Central Park. That sounds peaceful. New York S Design Week. Mm. New York Comedy Festival. Yes, actually, maybe. Fourth of July hot dog eating contest. Be fun to laugh at the fatties. No, opening night of the New York City Ballet season. No, comedy festival. Always comedy festival. Not the antiquing. No, going. definitely wouldn't go antiquing, no. Oh. Are you a fan of antiques? <laughs> no. I chose comedy as well. Yeah. Okay. Choose a special birthday outing. Tour in the Guggenheim and dinner. The Guggenheim. There, aren't there like several Guggenheims? Tickets to a game of your favourite sport. <laughs> There's no more hate speech in New York. So no more comedy. That, that implies that comedy is based on hate speech, Shirati, which it really isn't. Um, 
having a private lesson with a top chef. He looks like he's just holding on to some blinds there. Not cooking anything. I know it's supposed to be linguine. But... He's, it looks like he's making blinds for a doll's house. Um, <laughs> going on rides and eating junk food at Coney Island. This is very New York. Well, obviously it's a... Ugh, I lost the thread of what this um, quiz was about. That obviously it's friends, isn't it? So... <laughs> Having a day at the spa and shopping at Bloomingdale's or touring the New York City Botanic Gardens. Ah. Uh. Going on rides and eating junk food at Coney Island. It's the only one that wouldn't bore me to tears. Apart from maybe the spa day. <laughs> Choose a party theme to host for your friends. Is it a video games tournament? Oscar viewing cocktail party. <laughs> the irony being is um, I'd cook everyone a slap up meal. Murder mystery dinner. As long as we actually get to kill someone. No, uh, jam night and potluck. A paint and sip night. What is that? We drink paint. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy is hate against yourself or others, even if you say you don't like purple because you tripped over a purple bike and broke your leg as a child. Lead up to a joke. Someone with purple hair can and will take offence. <laughs> uh... Probably a movie night. Choose a secret Santa gift under a hundred dollars. I only said a thousand dollars. A hundred dollars. E-reader and a gift card. A hydroponic garden. An instant pot. Noise cancelling earbuds. Tabletop portable foosball game. Or a nail care box set. Well, it would depend on who it's for, wouldn't it? Um... So a hundred dollars? It's a bit fucking... It's a bit fucking much for a secret Santa gift, isn't it? All the secret Santas I've ever done, it's always been like under a tenner. Mine is under a fiver. Ah. Even cheaper. There you go. Yeah, but my gift was more expensive than that. <laughs> <laughs> Her ghost guns are now banned. Egon will be annoyed. But Sarah will be even more annoyed because you can't get rid of that toilet ghost. The bloody toilet ghost. It followed me home and it keeps saying Steve at me. <laughs> Steve. And I don't know any Steves. Steve. Been noise cancelling earbuds. I'm not see fucking secret Santa gift. I'm not putting that much thought or effort into it. And choose a trip for when you need to get out of city. Volunteering at Thai at a Thai elephant sanctuary, meeting Maasai and Safari in Kenya, taking chocolate making lessons in Cusco, visiting Milan Fashion Week. Visiting Atlantis Resort and Water Park in the Bahamas or attending Weta Movie Workshop in New Zealand. Probably the Atlantis Resort and Water Park. Sounds fun. I'd be Chandler. You have a mind for business and numbers. No, I don't. I'm useless. Fucking useless with numbers. It's a buzzfeed. Yeah. I wouldn't. But, you too much. but still have a sarcastic wit to you. You're the friend who can always brighten the mood and make everybody laugh. Yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> but I like the uh, confetti. I like the confetti that these quizzes have given you whenever you get to the answer. It's like, congratulations, you've wasted ten minutes of your life. 
Here's some confetti. Here's some digital confetti. And by logic, I've wasted nearly three hours of your lives, guys. So we are going to wrap up in about ten minutes. <laughs> So yeah, with that, we won't do any more quizzes, but <laughs> we'll just have a chat with you guys for um, 10 minutes. How, how is everyone in the chat? How How's your Easter weekends going? Has anyone eaten it? Well, has anyone got any Easter eggs yet? What's the protocol for Easter eggs, though? Because it's not like... right. Is it, do you, like, get them and then... You're not allowed to eat them until Sunday. You know, like, like Christmas, you're not allowed to open your presents until Christmas Day. But Easter, like, spans over the whole weekend, doesn't it? So, what, you... <laughs> either way, they'll all... Either way, they'll all be a quid. They'll all be a quid in the shops on Tuesday. Don't worry about it. Gorge on all the chocolate you want if you don't celebrate. See, the day after Easter is my favourite day because that's when all the Easter eggs are like really cheap. Yep. That's exactly what I just said, Sarah. That was it, sorry. <laughs> that's precisely what I just said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going well, working on a few... Ah, nice. Well, I, I put out a new video earlier this afternoon, and it's just a, a compilation. Because I'll explain. I'll explain what, what, where this video came from. I'm an idiot and cancelled my Amazon Prime, which means a lot of the um, VODs for my stream since the start of the year have now vanished. And I can't mine them for clips anymore, because they're gone. And I'd already done a few. Um, so I just used what clips I'd already garnered and made a 10 minute compilation, which is live on this channel, which you can check out after the stream if you haven't already. And there is almost, almost a full minute of unbroken swearing from me in there as well, because I'm nice. I'm nice. And you know me, I like to make family friendly content. What near unbroken minute of me saying shit, piss, cunt. <laughs> I was playing Alex Kid. And there's also Karma in the in that video making funny noises. As she is wont to do when she's on stream these days. And off stream. In fact, it's starting to become a bit of a fight between Sarah and Karma as to who makes the strangest noises. <laughs> Well, what was that one you made earlier? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> it was me. <mummy. laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta fix my... Ah. No worries. No worries, Sharati. You go fix those glasses. Put a plaster right on the bridge. They won't get... Them. Do you know what? Actually, for years... In fact, I've still got this pair of glasses because they're still kind of useful, although they're not quite my prescription anymore, but they're my backup glasses because they, they still kind of work. But I had this pair of glasses for years and the screw on one of the arms, the, the screw holder like warped and bent, right? And I couldn't get the screw back in and then I lost the screw. So I ended up getting, you know, when... You know when you buy like Halloween and Christmas decorations and they come attached to that little cardboard thing that they hang them up on and there's like that little plastic <laughs> tag thing. I wrapped one of those inside it, tied it and then it had the little like cable tie sort of thing that I shoved the other end through. So tied it really tight. That was back in... 2015 I got new glasses in 2019 but they're still that little plastic thing is still holding them together Blimey. yeah 
Yeah, do you, and you can hardly tell it's there either, unless you were like really looking at it, because it's like really small and transparent. Yes, credible. I was very impressed with his butter knife that time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah in, in terms of actual like normal content for this channel like narration videos and stuff like that i have got stuff in the works i am working on a couple of hitchhikers related things for towel deck next month um some of which you can see if you follow me over on tiktok i i've been putting out like two or three times a day i've been putting out little short 30 second videos of um, the story of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy as told by the trading card set the 1994 trading card set that's been fun to make and then I'm going to do the, the intention is I'm going to do a full big long video for YouTube which I'll release on Towel Day which what day does it fall on this year? 25th, let's see. It's on a Wednesday this year. <laughs> Nothing remarkable about, about that, I just realised. Had it been a Sunday, something like that, cool, fine. But it's a Wednesday, it's just a day, isn't it? <laughs> So yeah, that's that's on its way. I've, I've I've got a couple of other video ideas that I'm working on, um, that I'll get made on my second channel as well. Um, because over on Twitch I've been playing Metal Gear Solid Five. Um, but on my second channel I've been uploading those streams to that as well. Uh, there are now playlists and links on my main channel page to. Um, the playlists of my second channel as well and i've got um the conquer's bad fur day one i did the other day that's uploaded to the second channel i just don't know when to release it yet though <laughs> either way so yeah i've got i've got a fair a fair amount of things that i'm working on Charlie messaged me before and reminded me that I'm working on something for her as well, but um, that's fine. I'll, I just need I just need an afternoon, and I'll do that. That will be cool. I'll get that done on Monday. But apart from that. What have you got planned for the week, then, Sarah? Work. Oh, yeah. Then I'm off for injuries, and then more work. <laughs> I know. I'm exciting. Well, that's fine. You've got a um, you've got a week off at the end of this week, next week, haven't you? Yeah. Last week of the month. Hey. That'd be cool. Yeah. On payday as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just got a bit of wind. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... it's Yeah, we've hit the three-hour mark. It's nearly half past. Might as well go ahead and end here. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to check out the um, video. The highlight video. And if you really, really want to... We really want to bother with TikTok and go and follow me over there for two or three times a day. You get a new uh, Hitchhiker's trading card video. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Peace out. Peace off. Love you all. Except for you. And you know who you are. Oh, and remember, always Bye. wipe. Always wipe front to back. Good night. Good night.